YouTube, Andrew back again with another video. And what I have here is my latest purchase. I just got this in two days ago. This is a WWE Spinner version 2. It's been fully restoned with Swarovski crystals by my buddy Nick Clark. And um, just wanted to share it with you guys and just go over the detail, the work, and um, you know, things like that. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the uh, side plates first before we get over to the main plate. So, um, yeah, I sent these plates out to Nick over in the UK about two months ago. Uh, took him about a month to get uh, everything done. Uh, shipping just took a pain in the ass, so it took a while, way longer than it should have, but no one's fault there besides uh, good old postal service. So, like I said, all these plates were, and the stones were completely replaced with Swarovski crystals. Um, I believe every, so every stone is a pointed back stone, there are no flat backs. Um, I think we'd have to probably correct him on that. I just don't remember. So we'll start here on this left side plate. So as you can see, all the outer stones around the edge. And then you can see in the triangle here, uh, he did do the silver paint mod behind the uh, the stones. And these are all round pointed back stones. Um, I do apologize for any stones that are kind of out of place and or missing if you do notice any um some did get misplaced in transit you know not surprising just because these are very tiny and they're not easy to set plus i wasn't very uh, gentle when i was taking these out of the bubble wrap either so you know some of them may have felt fallen out from that but you can see his work actually is very clean he didn't scratch up my plates or damage them in any way no real excess glue that's you know noticeable i'm sure there's probably a little bit on to the other first inner side plate. Let's see the triangle stones and more of the outer ones. You should be able to see the uh, the shine that's coming off of these. They do sparkle very nice out in the sunlight. And again, you can see the, uh, the round stones with the silver paint mod. Got the big uh, big stone right there. Green leaves and all the uh, tiny circles. Now, Nick did drill uh, drill pretty much all the stone uh, all the stone holders, not all the way through in most cases, but you can see like in the, for the big one, drilled all the way through, and then some of the smaller ones, we did that as well. You don't have to drill all the way through as long as you can get the uh, the drill is mostly just to clean the holes out. So sometimes going all the way through will make it sit better, but I guess that depends on the stone. All right, let's move over to the inner, the second inner side plate, identical, exception that the eagle faces the other way. Very, very nice. This work is actually, you know, tell me not to be, uh, not to be disappointed, but I, I wasn't at all as far as his work goes. It was very clean, and just, you know, what I expected. For the money I paid, which was a very good price, if you ask me. And I do apologize for any missing stones, just haven't gotten a chance to get around and uh, replace them. I will eventually. And then finally the other, the other side plate. Get this out of the way. I'm not going to pause the video, I'm just trying to do this in one shot. And I'm going to bring the main plate in front and center. Alright, so as you can see, there's the main plate. You can see the spinner wheel was replaced. Uh, stock is just clear stones. These are replaced with the TV accurate uh, sunflower colored stones. Um, he did repaint the swoosh to make it a more uh, TV accurate. It's like a metallic red, I believe, compared to what comes stock. And all the stones on the W were replaced with a golden shadow type of crystal. Um, if you ever look at any pictures, like if you're on Bell Talk and you look in the gallery, there's pretty much any of the pictures of the last version of the Bell, the last two versions that you know Punk and The Rock held, you know from that you know 2010 ish to probably to the end 2013. I guess it depends on the light in the arena, but you'll see that the W looks more has a golden tint to it, even though the stones themselves work like clear. Um, I guess that's just due to like the lighting, plus I guess behind the stones were gold, you know, not silver, 
like they are on the uh, replica, even though it's not, you know, real gold or silver either way, but, you know, does give off a nice look. Still kind of, like, torn on if I like it or not, as far as, I guess, you know, trying to go with accuracy, but the way it looks kind of got skewed, you know, but either way. Let's go around the border. Same stones as the side plates. Same thing with the triangles. Got the eagle. Those are all replaced as well. These might be the, uh, the only flat backs because I don't think they come in point and it's probably not necessary either. So the champ banner with the silver paint mod. Yeah, next work is very nice. Pretty much as clean as it can be. I know these are very difficult considering you have like 3,000 plus stones. So very tedious work. Not something I'd try and do myself, but that's why there's people that actually are you know, willing to do it. And they don't rip you off either as far as the uh, overcharging. This does have a JMR CM Punk nameplate. I got that from Belt Van Dan. I also bought one with a custom one with my full name on it from Andy Hastings. So uh, I don't have a pic I don't have it out with me, so I can't show you what it looks like on the belt. But it's made in the same same material and same font as well. Real well close. Let's see spinner wheel. I didn't do any of the uh, never dull mods to it. It's not that it doesn't look right, actually it looks the way it's supposed to, but it's just too much work and I don't, I don't have the time to, to do it myself, especially if it screws up, I don't, I don't want to waste the entire belt. Here's the, uh, the W, I hope you can see the, uh, the golden color of the stones. It does spin, but I do have a piece of cardboard sitting down here. To stop it right now. The, the wheel is a little rattly, so which is why I don't want it to freely spin because I'm sure more stones will get knocked out from doing that. Yeah, so I'd rather have it not spin anyway. Not that it, you know, it doesn't matter to me, but you know, if I were to have gotten this re-leathered or anything like that, I would make sure it doesn't spin just you know for accuracy's sake. And that's pretty much it for the overview of these plates. Um, this belt actually is going to be for sale. I'm probably going to put a for sale post up on Facebook, uh, on the Belt Mafia Facebook page. So I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, for anyone interested that's watching on YouTube, the asking price is going to be $1,000 shipped anywhere in the world. That comes with the simulated leather uh, figure zinc strap that comes stock. Um, I just haven't put the plates on to it yet that's why you're not seeing it that way um, if you're interested in you know and just having it re-leathered and just want the plates themselves it's gonna be 950 shipped anywhere worldwide uh, via PayPal so if you're interested please message me um, hopefully these don't take too long to sell uh, I don't believe Nick is gonna be doing restoning at work anymore you know at least publicly um, that's his own decision so uh, I'm not, you know, you'd have to ask him for that. He does have a Facebook page, you know, to show off his work, so I will link that down in the description. So if you do want to inquire to him about getting any of this done, he'll let you know if he's uh, taking orders at all. So this may or may not have been the last one he's done for anyone other than himself. But um, yeah, big shout out to Nick for for doing this. I'm really happy with the work he did. Um, the only reason, honestly, I'm selling it, I do plan on possibly. Once other belts I have get sold, um, I'm going to do another spinner with uh, cubic zirconias. So that's hopefully going to be coming soon, maybe a little bit, you know, maybe a couple months down the road, but that is what I plan on doing. And um, outside of that, I don't know if I'm going to be buying any more belts. I mean, I can only hold four on display in my bedroom, which is the only real place I can keep anything. And spinner, my network logo. My uh, Ring of Honor belt and the Penny Tag replica, those pretty much are the four that I like and I'm gonna, I plan on keeping, so. Yeah, I mean, once someone, once someone buys this, I'm probably gonna replace the stones. Like Nick gave me a whole lot of uh, replacement stones, which I mean, technically I did pay for, so. Um, I mean, I'll use them, 
maybe I'll sell the spares. If anything, I'll include some with the uh, to the buyer, whoever buys this, or just give them all away. I mean, it doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in this and any of the other belts I'm selling, just uh, let me know. Um, I'll link down to the Belt Mafia Facebook page, uh, belttalk.com. You know, check them out. And, um, yeah, all the information will be down in the description. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.